What I wanted to talk about is feet position because somebody asked about it. Uh, so I'm on my rowing machine. Um, one of the common questions or common things that happens is depending on your rowing machine, um, basically your feet are either closer together or further apart. For instance, if you're on water rower brand, like water rower as the brand, their feet, um, where you put your feet, like their foot plates, are closer together. They're narrower than, say, on a Concept 2 or even on some of the other machines. Uh, so that's one of those things to consider when you're buying a machine. Uh, but when you put your feet in, what happens is, let me just turn my screen around, is it forces you into this position. Now, this is great, except maybe your feet are narrower depending on the foot plate than your shoulders. You want them to be kind of as close as you can to inline and there's only so much you can do about that. Uh, but the biggest thing that people do is what happens if you walk and you walk with your feet pointed outwards? Um, there's actually something you can do on the machine for this and I'm going to show it to you right now. So what you can do and I'm just going to do it with one because I have to hold and do this one-handed. Uh, but what I would start with is making this strap really, really, really loose. Hey, Meryl, thanks for joining. Um, let me know if you've got any questions. Uh, is make this strap really, really, really loose and then put your foot out so it gets into that out position. So where if you're walking and your feet are pointed outward, so let's say you walk with your feet like this, I want you to find that position once you get your foot in here. Now, there's a reason for this, and I'll go over it in a second. But once you get in here, I know that this is really loose, so what you do is take it and try and tighten it to where now it's, it's loose if I pull this way, but I have something tension on the side to push against. Uh, so then you're just like that, and your feet are in your more natural position like that. Now, the reason that I recommend doing this um, is because... If you force your feet into that forward position where your toes are pointed forward like this, if you force yourself into this position, what it's doing is putting extra stress on your ankle, your shin, your knee, all the way up to your hip. Um, if your feet naturally want to go out, there's a couple of reasons that it might do that. One could be because of your actual, like the femur hip bone and the way it sits in the acetabulum, which is like the hip joint. The way it sits in there, it might be at a different angle, making it really hard for you to walk with your feet forward. Um, or it could be something that's happened with an injury. Um, it could be something with your knees. It could be, uh, it could be a bunch of different reasons. So knowing the reason can sometimes help. But if you walk, we call it duck footed. If you walk with your feet pointed out, I really recommend doing that to, on the rowing machine because otherwise you're forcing your body into a position with your feet pointed forward where it doesn't naturally want to be. So if I'm forcing my feet forward, I'm gonna end up putting more weight on different aspects of my foot just naturally because I'm forced in that position, which is gonna cause those stresses all the way up to the hip. Uh, so it's just something to consider. That's how I like to have people modify it for that. Um, and usually when people are having pain on the outside of their shin um, or their knee or their hip, the first thing I have them do is I watch people walk, I look at what their feet positions are in, and then I, I try to recreate that on the rowing machine. Now, it is natural when you walk for your feet to have some outward slant. So let me show you. So it is natural for your feet, so this is perfectly straightforward. It's normal-ish to be at about 13-ish degrees, which would be slightly outwards. Now, if this is you, I would say, don't worry about it. Just go into that straight position on the rowing machine. If you're excessively out, for instance, my mom, she walks like this. Uh, if you are excessively out, then I would recommend trying to get yourself out, out as you can um, on the rowing machine. And that's just going to help take pressure off of certain areas. Um, so 
If you guys have questions, let me know. Uh, I know this Tipsy Thursday was slightly longer than my normal ones. I'm sorry, they're getting longer and that's not my goal. Thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, if you did, go ahead and that, hit that subscribe button. I put new things out weekly so you can get new information. Uh, you can also join the Keep Rolling Longer Facebook group where you can ask your questions and get your an questions answered quickly. Uh, so if you're interested in that, I'd love to see you there. There's a link in that description uh, below and I hope to see you there and chat soon.